Hello YouTubers, welcome back. Today, in this tutorial, I'll be going to show you how to create the record audio project in Godot. So let's see. Hello. Hello. So it's working. So let's get started. So we will start by pressing the user interface node. Select the control node and press control A. Search for the button node. Uh, after searching, after selecting it, I'll just drag and drop so that it's big. Again, select the button node, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now we will rename both of them. So the first one is the record button, and the second one is the play button. So select the record button under the text, assign it as <laughs> record, not record. Yeah, select the play button, and again go to text and assign it as play. I'll drag and drop so that it's below the record button and you can both you can identify both of them. So again select the control node, press control A and audio uh, search for audio stream player. Press enter and duplicate it once more. So the first one will be our record audio stream record and second one will be the audio stream player. So after it's done our UI part has been finished. So we save the scene, so control S. Save and the scene is saved. After saving the scene, go to project, project settings and under audio, you'll see an option called enable audio input. So you check this. It says, uh, it gives us a little warning, but don't worry, we need to restart the editor. So select save and restart. <clears throat> so once the editor has been restarted, select the audio text here. And as you can see here, in, the, in Godot, this each single piece is known as an audio bus. So if you have multiple effects like amplify or distortion EQ etc, you need to add more number of buses. So for the record uh, option, I will create new bus. So select the add bus option here and here I will rename it to record. So after renaming it, select the add effect option and select here the record effect. So the record effect has been done. So again, we will save this. So after that, select the audio stream record and under the stream, select the empty and click on new audio stream microphone. After selecting it, go to the bus. As I have said earlier, this each single piece is known as bus. So here we have the two buses. So as you can see here, there is uh, here we also have the two buses. So for the audio stream record, you need to select the bus as in record. So after it's done, uh, we will just attach a script to control node. So create and we have attached the script. So after attaching the script, select the uh, record button, go to node, select press, right click, connect, connect. Do the same thing for the play button. Under the node section, select press, right click, uh, right click, connect, connect. So once it has been done, I have replaced my code here. So we are assigning the two variables. One is the effect, one more is the recording. Under the ready function, we are passing the index. Uh, we are say, uh, creating a variable called index and it just gets our audio bus. So we are saying that audio server dot get bus index and it's record. So again, we are assigning the value for the effect variable as an audio server dot get bus effect and here we are passing two parameters. The one is the bus and the second is the index of our effect. So if you're familiar with programming then you'll be knowing that always the first index starts with zero and here this is the first index or the first effect it starts with zero. Sorry for the disturbance and after that under the function on record button pressed if our uh, recording is active. So this piece of code is not gonna run at this beginning. So if because the effect dot is recording active. So when you press the record button, our recording will not be active. So this is this code is gonna run. So this is an extra line. Yeah. So we are saying that effect dot set recording active and we are passing it to true. It means we are just saying the go dot that hey go dot start the recording. 
So next we are assigning the text of the record button to stop so that we can just differentiate that our recording has been started or not. So once if the recording has started and again if you press the record button, uh, it's gonna work here. So this pieces of code. So it will check that if recording is active, then yeah, it says that yeah, recording is active. Then we are assigning the recording variable as our recording. So effect dot get recording will get our recording and it will assign to the recording variable. Next we are say uh, stopping the recording. So we are saying that effect dot set recording active and here we are passing the false. After that again we will set the record button dot text to record. So after this when we play the when we press the play button so this function is gonna run function dot play button pressed on play button pressed sorry and here we are referencing the audio stream player dot stream equals to recording so uh, this stream property we are assigning the recording our audio recording which we have set here so which we have got here so next we are just saying that audio stream player to play our recording so once the recording has been played I will just empty the recording so I'm just saying the recording equals to null so that our recording doesn't clip and before as per your notice I'm just saying that I am using the beta version so it might get some glitches and some issues uh, so once more if you check here we need to enable the auto play but option here and under this bus we need to mute this bus uh, because it, we doesn't want it to play before pressing the record button in the game so once you run this so you can see there are two buttons so if you press the record button hello youtubers hello youtubers as you can see here my recording is playing but due to the beta versions I don't know why but it's getting some issues so once more I'll run the scene hello youtubers hello youtubers as you can see it's playing properly hello youtubers hello youtubers as you can see yeah it's just getting an issue I don't know why but because of beta version I think so so thank you guys for watching my tutorial, press the like button, do comment, do subscribe, press the bell icon for the further notification updates and always have a great day.